It's time for Don and Ron. You won't get this anywhere else. Welcome to another edition of Don and Ron. I'm Don. I'm Ron. You know what? It's kind of amazing you you guys have sent left comments for us. And the comments are, why doesn't Ron talk more? Well, I kind of want to explain that. I mean, my brother, you know, he's a younger brother. Most of you out there understand it. You got a younger sister. You try to let him talk too much. But, unfortunately, we had a video the other day that Ron really did a good job. So maybe it's not unfortunate at all. So he did a video without the Don. Can you believe it? Well, here today, we're going to talk about some more pieces to the 45J3 Cub that uh, we're working with Michael Brewer on. And we want to talk about this particular panel for this J3. Um, you know, this is the original panel itself. It was dollied out. Uh, we did a lot of massaging to the uh, sheet metal. My brother did, that is. He's the sheet metal uh, guru for sure. And so you don't have to throw away an old panel. Don't, don't do it. If you look at this guy, it looks like brand new again, doesn't it? So, you know, we'll do some close-up stuff and get to see what it looked like beforehand uh, because it was, it was beat up. And with Ron kind of sitting there with some wood, kind of tell how, how do you smooth out a piece of sheet metal just with a piece of wood rubbing it? Oh man, there's many different ways, but one way that I really love to use is a, a piece of wood and a, a good firm piece of carpet or good firm material, and I'll get that carpet on the back side and I'll work it real slow like back and forth. I've got round pieces of wood, uh, I've got square-ended pieces with material on them. I have all kind of different dollies that I've used to actually just lightly rub it back and forth to get the dents right out of them, and a lot of them I can. A lot of them I can. One of the things you'll see in some B-roll footage coming up, okay, is some of the pieces that he uses to do that with. It's kind of cool. Um, and then, of course, we put just a little bit of filler in it to kind of smooth things out the rest of the way. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. I mean, a little bit of wave is not a problem. So, I want to again talk to you about make sure you save your money. You know, and if you have to have a new panel, the guy that I would go to is Clyde the Cub Dr. Smith. Uh, you can contact him mm -hmm. at cubdoc at comcast.net and he will be able to get you, you know, a factory, you know, look alike panel in the, in, the, in the airplane. So, the other thing we're talking about today is the instruments. The instruments. Um, these are all the original instruments. Keystone, um, you know, I love those guys to death. They're a little bit slow sometimes, but you know, when you do it right and take care of, take care of these old instruments, um, and you can see they look like brand new again. So it's really, really important. So, and again, you'll see some of the old ones, uh, the old pictures and everything. Something you may not know um, is on the back side here, we're gonna kind of gently flip it over and kind of show you You've got a capillary tube right here. And this capillary tube, you know, the guys at Keystone can replace those. Um, but this one, again, is, a, is an original. And it's been, everything's been reconditioned. But what they do is, you know, these little guys have actually have like a Freon in them. And the temperature, when it starts raising, it actually raises the pressure because Freon is very temperature pressure related. And that's what it gives you is the indication on the dash. But, I mean, look at the back side of these things, how beautiful they are. I mean, these are, again, from the 1945. And so they've just did a fabulous job kind of recleaning them up. This is even the original piece of copper tubing right here, you know, for the altimeter. Um, and all you, I mean, it's really not a big deal. Um, and you just take and put everything back in place. This has been cleaned up and polished. Um, the tachometer with the 90 degree offset in it because you know on the 65 horse um, and coming around the tank especially on a 45 the tank is right behind there so you can't come straight out because uh, you'd hit the tank so anyway so the 90 degree fitting but all of it's been you know reconditioned and taken care of I mean it's it's, it's pretty darn neat and everything but and I miss smoke too I'm sorry this is the uh, airspeed right here this is the altimeter anyway and so now we'll be able to hook right up to our tube, going up to our wing for the pedo tube, or like my brother says, pedot. 
drives me up the wall when he says peat tot. It's a peat tot. Peat It's a peat tot, my, my man. Anyway, so I just, you know, younger brothers just want to reach over and, yeah, you know, one of the things we want to teach you today, it's especially when it comes to younger brothers, and I don't, I don't advocate abuse, but sometimes you got to teach them, and then sometimes you got to abuse them. That's abuse. This is teaching. Remember that. Okay. So, again, the dash itself has just been reconditioned all the way. The panel itself has been reconditioned. Um, got our, our black... Uh, epoxy paint on it and then of course it's got a the black I mean white epoxy primer underneath it and the best way to go with that is using the guys over at Airtech paint systems in uh, Low and Oak Arkansas they have a direct metal primer we call it DTM okay and so we put a nice coat of DTM on it so that the paint sticks real good to the aluminum and it really takes a lot of abuse so that's our deal for Don and Ron today. Uh, Ron, you got any comments on this one? Well, or do I need, to, one, do I need that, to teach you a little bit more? Well, there's one thing we need to know that they leave comments. Ah, uh, they And yeah, they've got to share. They've yeah. got to share. Otherwise, I've got to give him teaching lessons. Oh, yeah. And then, so <laughs> we need you to like, share, and subscribe for us. Leave us some comments. Uh, we certainly appreciate everybody that's watched mm -hmm. and tuned in to Don and Ron. Um, you know, again, Save the metal. I mean, that's one of the things that we did on Michael's airplane. It took a lot of effort. You know, you'll see what, if you ever see this airplane in person, um, a lot of little metal strips. Everything's been peened back out and massaged. Ryan's going to show you again some of his B-roll footage of the things he makes. It's very simple, folks, and it's things that you can do too. But um, we appreciate your time today. Peace out from Don and Ryan.